That's the notion of capacity. Now, why is that important? You cannot have a flow whose value exceeds the capacity of that cut. It's a bottleneck property. You're creating some stuff in the source. It perks around, perks around. But eventually, it has to get over here. And the only way to get over there is to go on a forward edge. The best you could do is have them all full. You can't get there any other way than go this way. You have to travel on those edges. So the value of the flow cannot exceed the capacity of a cut. Now, that's a universal statement. You've got all your flow values over here. You've got all your capacity computations over here. No one of these can exceed any one of those. The value of a flow cannot exceed the capacity of a cut. Any flow, any cut. bottleneck. And now, do you know what the punchline is going to be? The maximum value of the flow is exactly equal to the minimum capacity of a cut. These two sets of numbers meet somewhere. The maximum value of a flow is exactly equal to the minimum capacity of a cut. Now, even if you believed me, which you, you should be skeptical, because you should be. Even if you believe me, of what practical use is that observation? None. Because how many cuts are there? No, there's only a finite, well, finite network. If that network has a thousand vertices in it, how many cuts are there? How many ways to take a thousand vertices and put them in two parts, but with source here and sync there? Uh, 1, no, it's bigger than that. S here, T there, everybody else either goes there or there. Two to the 998. And you don't want to be doing anything that many times. And if you're comfortable with that, I'll give you 10,000 vertices, or 100,000, or a million. And not even a supercomputer wants to do two to the 999,998 of anything. So the way I've presented it, I, I didn't prove anything yet. You don't want to do that. But we got this little example. Now I'm back up all the way to the beginning. There's the network. Let's look at some. So when I said S, and I looked at the edges coming out of S, that's a cut. On the side here is S, and on the side there is everybody else. Here's another kind of trivial cut. Put the T over here and everybody else here. What's the capacity of that cut? OK, uh, 48 plus 2 is 50. 50 plus 84 is 130. OK, well, that's even bigger. You know, the, the capacities are over here. I can have a capacity. Uh, the first one we got was 111. Now I got 100 and what was that? 134. That's over here. The capacity is over here. I, I want to look at a different. So, do this one and this one. That's left and that's right. What's the capacity of that cut? 